all right thank you hello everyone and thank you so much for tuning in to your favorite astrologer pal zool um be sure to sls so share like and subscribe and welcome back let's get right back into it so these videos are not going to be as long because i did a super long rant but i do have saturn natal saturn in my second house i have i'm going through my saturn return in the second house and listen apparently having done research as all astrologers should do second house saturn returns are the worst besides 12th house so like they're about even but second house saturn returns are absolutely terrible and here's why um <sighs> Now, so naturally, your self-worth is tied to the second house. And the second house is the house of just everything tangible, like mate the material things. The, this 3D world is like the second house. You know what I mean? This, this simulation that we're in is the second house. So you're lacking all of the physical things that you would need all the physical resources that you would need that comes with the second house so that means obviously more than anything yes you're so you're tied your self-worth is tied to the things that you have um and the physical things that you have and i know a lot of people say you know that's extremely materialistic but i know for a second houser like me with you know a uh, cap saturn here it's like no i'm not necessarily materialistic i just know that you need materials in order to survive in this 3d virtual world how are you going to put me in a 3d virtual world and tell me okay well you can't have any of the 3d tools that you need to like actually survive in this 3d virtual like existence this hologram whatever so um yeah those things are taken away from you like again i've said this in many a video i record everything on my phone i don't have any phone service i haven't had phone service in like a year because life happened and i couldn't pay for it and i still am unable to pay for it and i owe verizon like mad bread to turn this phone back on and i'm like bro i don't have it I don't have it so <laughs> I'm going to try to generate as much wealth in my own business in my own enterprise um, with the tools that I have so second house is just like drilling you to do what you can with as little as possible like the bare minimum like poverty like seeing how you can escape poverty that's basically the second house like return in, in Saturn like Saturn return second house needle like when it returns to you everything is taken away from you and it's like oh like how can you survive on a deserted island this is like a one piece reference how can you do survive on a deserted island with five days worth of food for 30 days and two days supplies of water how are you gonna make it <laughs> figure it out <laughs> like you know what I mean so um yeah it's been rough and especially when like again your self-worth is kind of tied to the material success that you have because let's be honest even if you have the spiritual wherewithal to do blah 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 like ascend and transcend and astral plane and astral projecting and uh, remote viewing and all of this that and the third if you don't have these material things you don't have a home you don't have a car you don't have you know uh, lights and and all of these comforts that not even comforts but like actual things that you need I, it could sound very first world of me but like bro you need clean drinking water to survive you need clean food that's not going to kill you to survive you need these things you need money at least here in the united states you need money to survive you do like it's not up for debate or question you need money um so like not having those things does kind of make you it does make you more resourceful because 
honestly, I'm gonna be quite honest with you, I never thought I would be this this poor, especially not for this long. It's been an extended extended stint of being poor. And I know for me that's just like due to my personal placements and like being cardinal dominant and having you know that Uranus transit just like terrorizing me for like seven nine to seven to nine years and like most cardinal people it was terrorizing them but like yeah if you were a cardinal and it was terrorizing you and you're older and your past your Saturn return or you're younger and you're not there yet like this isn't like is I don't know my my particular like slot of group of like people born between like 1988 and 19 part very early 1991 like we have a really tricky like cardinal folk people who like were born in that we've had it extremely hard because it's been back to back it's like oh okay i just got out of uranus transit and i had uranus transit um i mean square and saturn at one point but i was in that uranus transit for like seven years before Saturn even got into Capricorn and squared that Aries Uranus. And then I'm still having <laughs> Saturn return in that squaring most of my chart or opposing or doing whatever it's doing in my chart as well. So it's just kind of like, <clears throat> ah, <laughs> ah, ah, I'm ready to get out of here. Um, I'm ready for this transit to be that I don't ever want to feel this type of like strife in life ever again I really feel like Scarlett O'Hare when she's like yo like what was that quote she was like as God is my witness I will never go hungry again that's literally me and like Scarlett O'Hare was definitely an Aries sun and probably a Libra moon like myself probably Gemini moon though because she was like <laughs> a fucking mess <laughs> love her fucking mess up um but yeah, so it's just like taking away everything, all these material things and resources that you feel like you need um, and that you honestly do need <laughs> to see how you're going to make it. Um, but apparently, luckily, maybe luckily, if you survive the transit, you're going to be an older rich person so the thing about Saturn is like okay with all of like human history um it's up for debate because humans have lived for a very long time and humans in my family have lived for a very long time but then sometimes like overall especially like in the medieval area era people did not live and that that long like the longest they would live is to like 40 or something like that so imagine 30 being like your old age or whatever um for most people throughout human history because they didn't live until like if you made it to like 50 that was like whoa you were ancient um that's up for debate though because like you have instances in the bible and like other texts where and like even like bones um that scientists have found where people have been older so i don't okay take it with a grain of salt anyways um but yeah so you have um apparently saturn like blesses you at the end of the transit and you'll be you know blessed with um uh things because you're a master after you master the the grueling task of and testings of saturn um and folks were seen as being in their old age in their 30s okay because they would die by the time they're like 35 40 okay so we're like senior citizens <laughs> so um folks with second house saturn tend to be extremely rich if they master the second house saturn like transit um and yeah they they usually end up dying rich um let's keep our fingers crossed i really hope that's the case because it's like this level of poverty <laughs> this level of po like like i painted these some the walls opposite me 
green because I thought I would have the tech and the money to get the tech to do green screen things and like make my videos extra cool and then it's like oh well now I have to be resourceful and buy $10 backdrops off of Amazon because I don't have the money to buy the computers and the systems to do that type of shit. I don't have it I don't have thousands of dollars to do that so um I'm sorry this dress is itchy oh my god uh, the seams I don't like seams like I do not like seams and clothes I wish it was like completely seamless clothing <sighs> pet peeve anyway so yeah so once you master it you'll get all of the things um who has that that's famous mark zuckerberg that's not really the best example because he's like going through shit right now um but he's a billionaire at least <laughs> i mean better to go through shit as a billionaire than not <laughs> let's be honest um but yeah so yeah okay so hopefully you know folks like me will die rich and will I won't have to worry about being this poor ever again. <laughs> we'll see. All right. So, yep. Thank you so much for tuning in. Your life is your art. And I'll see you soon. Um, I am going to actually try to do, I think, Jupiter. Yeah, Jupiter. I'll do Jupiter in the houses um, to make it a little bit easier for folks. Um, because I haven't done that. I have done Uranus in the houses. Or at least by sign think about it but they're not like separate they're all in one video um so i'm gonna try to separate them out so you don't have to hear like things that don't apply to you so yeah again thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you soon see ya